The term magnetic potential can be used for either of two quantities in classical electromagnetism, the magnetic vector potential, or simply vector potential, a, and the magnetic scalar potential ψ. Both quantities can be used in certain circumstances to calculate the magnetic field B. The more frequently used magnetic vector potential is defined so that its curl is equal to the magnetic field times A equals B text style nabla times math BF a equals math BF B Together with the electric potential phi, the magnetic vector potential can be used to specify the electric field E as well. Therefore, many equations of electromagnetism can be written either in terms of the fields E and B, or equivalently in terms of the potentials phi and A. In more advanced theories such as quantum mechanics, most equations use potentials rather than fields. The magnetic scalar potential ψ is sometimes used to specify the magnetic H field in cases when there are no free currents, in a manner analogous to using the electric potential to determine the electric field in electrostatics. One important use of ψ is to determine the magnetic field due to permanent magnets when their magnetization is known. With some care, the scalar potential can be extended to include free currents as well. Historically, Lord Kelvin first introduced vector potential in 1851, along with the formula relating it to the magnetic field. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic vector potential. The magnetic vector potential A is a vector field defined along with the electric potential phi a scalar field by the equations B equals times A E equals minus phi minus A T Display style Math BF B equals Nabla times Math BF A quad Math BF E equals Nabla Phi frac partial Math BF A partial T where B is the magnetic field and E is the electric field. In magnetostatics where there is no time varying charge distribution, only the first equation is needed. In the context of electrodynamics, the terms vector potential and scalar potential are used for magnetic vector potential and electric potential, respectively. In mathematics, vector potential and scalar potential can be generalized to higher dimensions. If electric and magnetic fields are defined as above from potentials, they automatically satisfy two of Maxwell's equations, Gauss's law for magnetism and Faraday's law. For example, if A is continuous and well defined everywhere, then it is guaranteed not to result in magnetic monopoles. In the mathematical theory of magnetic monopoles, A is allowed to be either undefined or multiple valued in some places. See magnetic monopole for details. Starting with the above definitions, B equals times A equals Zero times E equals times minus phi minus a T equals minus T times a equals minus B T dot Display style begin aligned nabla c d o t math b f b and equals nabla c d o t left nabla times math b f a right equals zero nabla times math b f e and equals nabla times left nabla phi frac partial math b f a partial t right equals frac partial partial t left nabla times math b f a right equals frac partial math b f b partial t end aligned alternatively the existence of a and phi is guaranteed from these two laws using helmholtz's theorem for example since the magnetic field is divergence free gauss's law for magnetism ie b equals 0 a always exists that satisfies the above definition 
The vector potential A is used when studying the Lagrangian in classical mechanics and in quantum mechanics see Schrödinger equation for charged particles, Dirac equation, a haranov bohm effect. In the SI system, the units of A are Vsm-1 and are the same as that of momentum per unit charge. Although the magnetic field B is a pseudovector also called axial vector, the vector potential A is a polar vector. This means that if the right-hand rule for cross products were replaced with a left-hand rule, but without changing any other equations or definitions, then B would switch signs, but A would not change. This is an example of a general theorem, the curl of a polar vector is a pseudovector, and vice versa. <laughs> Gauge choices The above definition does not define the magnetic vector potential uniquely because, by definition, we can arbitrarily add curl-free components to the magnetic potential without changing the observed magnetic field. Thus, there is a degree of freedom available when choosing A. This condition is known as gauge invariance. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell's equations in terms of vector potential. Using the above definition of the potentials and applying it to the other two Maxwell's equations the ones that are not automatically satisfied results in a complicated differential equation that can be simplified using the Lorenz gauge where A is chosen to satisfy A plus 1 C 2 phi T equals 0 Display style nabla c d o t math b f a plus frac one c carrot two frac partial phi partial t equals zero. Using the Lorenz gauge, Maxwell's equations can be written compactly in terms of the magnetic vector potential a and the electric scalar potential phi two phi minus one c two Two phi t two equals minus rho e zero two a minus one c two two a T two equals minus mu zero J display style begin aligned nabla carrot two phi frac one C carrot two frac partial carrot two phi partial T carrot two and equals frac row epsilon underscore zero nabla carrot two math BF a frac one C carrot two frac partial carrot two math BF a partial T carrot two and equals mu underscore zero math BF J end aligned in other gauges, the equations are different. A different notation to write these same equations using four vectors is shown below. <coughs> <coughs> Calculation of potentials from source distributions The solutions of Maxwell's equations in the Lorenz gauge C. Feynman and Jackson with the boundary condition that both potentials go to zero sufficiently fast as they approach infinity are called the retarded potentials, which are the magnetic vector potential A R, T, and the electric scalar potential phi R, T, due to a current distribution of current density J R, T, charge density rho R, T, and volume omega, within which rho and J are non-zero at least sometimes and some places a R T equals mu zero four pi omega J R T R minus R D three R phi R T equals one four pi E zero Omega Rho R 
T R Minus R D three R display style begin aligned math BF a left math BF R T right and equals frac mu underscore zero four pi int underscore omega frac math BF J left math BF R T right left math BF R math BF R right mathrum D carrot three math BF R phi left math BF R T right and equals frac one four pi epsilon underscore Zero int underscore omega frac row left math BF R T right left math BF R math BF R right mathrum D carrot three math BF R end aligned where the fields at position vector R and time T are calculated from sources at distant position R at an earlier time T. The location R is a source point in the charge or current distribution, also the integration variable, within volume omega. The earlier time t is called the retarded time and calculated as t equals t minus r minus r c display style t equals t frac left math bf r math bf r right c. There are a few notable things about r and phi calculated in this way. The Lorentz gauge condition a plus one c two phi T equals zero. Display style nabla c d o t math b f a plus frac one c carrot two frac partial phi partial t equals zero is satisfied. The position of R, the point at which values for phi and a are found, only enters the equation as part of the scalar distance from R to R. The direction from R to R does not enter into the equation. The only thing that matters about a source point is how far away it is. The integrand uses retarded time, t. This simply reflects the fact that changes in the sources propagate at the speed of light. Hence the charge and current densities affecting the electric and magnetic potential at R and t, from remote location R must also be at some prior time t. The equation for A is a vector equation. In Cartesian coordinates, the equation separates into three scalar equations A x r t equals mu 0 4 pi omega j x r t r Minus R D three R A Y R T equals mu zero four Pi Omega J Y R T R minus R D three R A Z R T equals mu zero four Pi Omega J Z R T R minus R D three R display style begin aligned a underscore x left math BF R T right and equals frac mu underscore zero four pi int underscore omega frac J underscore x left math BF R T right left math BF R math BF R right math from D carrot three math BF R A underscore Y left math BF R T right and equals frac mu underscore Score zero four pi int underscore omega frac j underscore y left math bf r t right left math bf r math bf r right math from d carrot three math bf r a underscore z left math bf r t right and equals frac mu underscore zero four pi int underscore omega frac j underscore z left math bf r t right left math bf 
BF R Math BF R right Mathram D carrot three Math BF R end aligned in this form it is easy to see that the component of a in a given direction depends only on the components of J that are in the same direction. If the current is carried in a long straight wire, the A points in the same direction as the wire. In other gauges, the formula for A and phi is different, for example, see Coulomb gauge for another possibility. <laughs> Depiction of the A field See Feynman for the depiction of the A field around a long thin solenoid. Since times B equals mu zero J display style nabla times math BF B equals mu underscore zero math BF J assuming quasi static conditions, i.e. E T Zero times a equals b display style frac partial e partial t right arrow zero quad nabla times math bf a equals math bf b. The lines and contours of a relate to b like the lines and contours of b relate to j. Thus, a depiction of the A field around a loop of B flux as would be produced in a toroidal inductor is qualitatively the same as the B field around a loop of current. The figure to the right is an artist's depiction of the A field. The thicker lines indicate paths of higher average intensity shorter paths have higher intensity so that the path integral is the same. The lines are drawn to aesthetically impart the general look of the A field. The drawing tacitly assumes A equals zero, true under one of the following assumptions. The Coulomb gauge is assumed. The Lorenz gauge is assumed and there is no distribution of charge, rho equals zero. The Lorenz gauge is assumed and zero frequency is assumed. The Lorenz gauge is assumed and a non-zero frequency that is low enough to neglect. 1 C phi T display style frac 1 C frac partial phi partial T is assumed topic electromagnetic four potential in the context of special relativity it is natural to join the magnetic vector potential together with the scalar electric potential into the electromagnetic potential also called four potential one motivation for doing so is that the four potential is a mathematical four vector, thus, using standard four vector transformation rules, if the electric and magnetic potentials are known in one inertial reference frame, they can be simply calculated in any other inertial reference frame. Another, related motivation is that the content of classical electromagnetism can be written in a concise and convenient form using the electromagnetic four potential, especially when the Lorenz gauge is used. In particular, in abstract index notation, the set of Maxwell's equations in the Lorenz gauge may be written in Gaussian units as follows: mu a mu equals zero, white medium square a mu equals four pi c j mu. Display style begin aligned partial caret mu a underscore mu and equals zero box a underscore mu and equals frac four pi c j underscore mu end aligned, where is the D'Alembertian and j is the four current. The first equation is the Lorenz gauge condition while the second contains Maxwell's equations. The four potential also plays a very important role in quantum electrodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic scalar potential The scalar potential is another useful quantity in describing the magnetic field, especially for permanent magnets. In a simply connected domain where there is no free current, times h equals zero. Display style nabla times math bf h equals zero. Hence, we can define a magnetic scalar potential psi as h equals minus psi display style math bf h equals nabla psi 
using the definition of h b equals mu 0 h plus m equals 0 Display style nabla c d o t math b f b equals mu underscore zero nabla c d o t left math b f h plus math b f m right equals zero. It follows that two psi equals minus h equals m. Display style nabla carrot two psi equals nabla c d o t math b f h equals nabla c d o t math b f m. Here m acts as the source for magnetic field, much like p acts as the source for electric field. So analogously to bound electric charge, the quantity rho m equals minus m. Display style row underscore m equals nabla c d o t math b f m is called the bound magnetic charge. If there is free current, one may subtract the contribution of free current per Biot-Savart law from total magnetic field and solve the remainder with the scalar potential method. To date, there has not been any reproducible evidence for the existence of magnetic monopoles. Topic. See also Aharonov-Bohm effect Gluon field Notes <laughs> <laughs>